Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. The following is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The world heavyweight champion, Sam Freakin' Rollins. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. Hard times and perseverance. Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. What type of approach does a superstar need in order to win a matchup like this, Corey? It's important to remember that you can't win a match like this on emotion alone. You have to devise a plan and execute it. Once locked in the cell, we've seen superstars embrace a new, sadistic level of barbaric behavior. I agree, Byron, and it's all out of necessity. Oh, that'll rattle you. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Oh, stiff uppercut. And he's able to reverse. Boom, what an uppercut. sight on the face of the American Nightmare. Oh, jarring up. 
uppercut. And back in the ring we go. And the knee. And here's a cover. Oh, somehow. Not yet. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Oh, back elbow. Look at this. Snap suplex. His body lock applied. Great body control. And close on. Rhodes turns it around. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Oh. Oh, man, what an uppercut. He's looking a little off balance. And returning to the ring. Oh, turn down the lights. Kick everybody out. Curtain call. When it comes to Hell in a Cell, it's often the more merciless superstar who ends up coming out on top. This match plays to the advantage of the sadistic and violent. So tap into your inner darkness and make sure you're the most ruthless one in there. Chilling advice, Corey, but I do see your point. Springboard off. Was mounted with punches. And not, oh, and he can end it here. Almost two and a half. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Ah, look at this. Golly, that could do permanent damage. Oh, what a chop. And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Tap. Oh, that's one way for him to get out of it. He'll take things into the ring. the momentum now. And Rhodes might have more in store. And an inverted atomic drop. He's in a bad way, guys. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. The architect is going to need a heck of a plan to get out of this one. Basement drop kick. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, up to the middle rope. And a bulldog. Wow, this can't be. It could be over here. This is it. No, he gets the shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Uh-oh. Way too Oh, a huge miss there. And a kick. Oh, our bar. Oh. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. From the middle row. Looking up their opponent. Hey, tornado snap suplex. Amazing. As the arm bar stretch in. The stretching out the arm. 
Effectively using the knee. And Seth just taunting his opponent now. Rocked with the point of the elbow. And it's a tough spot now for Rhodes. And Cody might need to find space to regroup. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. And Rollins cannot be stopped. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Returning to the ring now. Able to avoid there. Inverted vertical suplex. And Cody didn't see that coming. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. Cody is locked in the crosshairs now. Here he comes. Stop! Rollins just turned the lights out. Cover. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Cody Rhodes with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. High risk plans from Rollins. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Incoming! Oh. Climbing up top, he's got big plans! Launching! Five star frog splash! Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins standing tall. Cody Rhodes' worst nightmare has come true. It was a match that could have gone either way, but Rollins came out on top in this one. And he is going to celebrate big time tonight, gentlemen. I can't wait for the after party.